welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Meet the norovirus, a master of contagion, and a common cause of gastroenteritis around the globe. This tiny but mighty virus has puzzled and challenged scientists for decades. But let's follow its journey. Norovirus story begins in 1929, when Dr. Zahorsky named a common illness in kids winter vomiting disease. But this virus caught the world's attention only in the late 1960s, when a small town called Norwalk in Ohio faced an outbreak of acute gastroenteritis. The virus responsible was subsequently identified, and it was from this outbreak that it earned its name, Norwalk virus. You might wonder why it's called norovirus and not Norwalk virus. After the outbreak in 1968, scientists found that this virus was just one of many similar viruses causing gastrointestinal issues. So, they decided on the name norovirus to include all these viruses. This name remembers the first outbreak in Norwalk and covers the whole virus family. Nowadays, norovirus is a major cause of gastroenteritis, with 685 million cases each year worldwide. Gastroenteritis, commonly known as the stomach flu, presents with symptoms like nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. This virus spreads very easily and quickly from person to person. It can spread through just a few particles on unclean surfaces, shared food, or close contact with an infected person. This is why outbreaks are common in places where lots of people gather like schools, hospitals, and cruise ships. A key feature that defines the norovirus is its classification as a non-enveloped virus. This means that unlike some other viruses, norovirus doesn't have an outer lipid envelope. It's protected by a tough protein shell called a capsid. This protein coat gives it extra resistance to various environmental conditions and many common disinfectants. The norovirus capsid is made up of 180 units of a single protein known as viral protein 1, or VP1. The capsid structure is divided into two main regions, the shell domain and the protruding domain. Further, the protruding domain is split into two smaller parts, P1 and P2. P1 is crucial in aiding the virus's entry into host cells, while the P2 subdomain binds to specific carbohydrates found on human cell surfaces. Inside this shell, there's another protein called VP2, which supports the stability and integrity of the virus. In addition to these, noroviruses contain several other non-structural proteins that are crucial for its replication and life cycle. These proteins work together, making the norovirus highly efficient at infecting cells and resisting environmental challenges. Norovirus contains a single-stranded RNA genome. RNA viruses tend to have higher mutation rates compared to DNA viruses. This high mutation rate contributes to the virus's ability to rapidly evolve and adapt, leading to frequent emergence of new strains. As of now, there aren't any specific antivirals to treat norovirus, but researchers are working hard to find them. In the same vein, vaccines are in development, but the road is complex due to the nuances of immune response and viral genetics. We've taken a close look at norovirus, but there's always more to learn. We're a team of scientists at a contract research organization that specializes in virus research, including norovirus, and we'd be happy to connect with researchers who might benefit from our services. And if you're into virology and enjoyed this video, follow our channel for more straightforward science content.